welcome back in this particular uh, video we will actually look into how we can exploit a particular app right we will actually be looking at a very old version of adobe which had a vulnerability right so um, let's do this so we have installed the adobe app already on the my device here right and uh, the next step is to start my browser like i did last time so there you go my browser has started uh, i need to get the package name of adobe I right now don't know what is the package name so let me probably run um, you know app dot package dot list probably Yeah, so you can see here the package name for Adobe is already displayed. So let's use that. Once you obtain the package name, I could run the attack search, uh, surface, right? So I'm going to run app dot uh, package dot attack surface, and the name of the um, package is nothing but the Adobe. There you go. So once let me go top and run it again. There you go. We can see that one content provider is exported, right? So you can see one content provider is exported now let's find the list of the content providers and see how we can you know exploit it right so let's list the content providers yes we have the content providers with us which means uh, let's take the first one here uh, let's try to exploit this how would I exploit this uh, it's going to be run again run app dot uh, provider right and uh, query let's query it and the name of the content provider so when I did that it gave me an error it says that unknown error now the reason this could be because uh, you, know, you know the content provider which we are trying to access it might not be a database right so now we check if we can read some files right so using this content provider can we read some files can we check that so what we'll do is we well, let's create uh, uh, let's so I've already created a text file here which is called secret I already have it I'll show you what it is inside that it's just a text file with uh, you know a word secret written inside it right so you can create anything you can create a simple text file just for the testing purposes and uh, let's exit this so once I have this so once I have the uh, text file what I'll, what I'll do is I'll push this text file to my device so adb push name of the file being secret.txt I'm gonna push it to management and SD card right so there you go I pushed it into the device now right so it is in the device I can show you that adb shell uh, you know if I go down to this particular location which is if I do here you can see the secret.txt which is that inside my Android device now great now let's go back and start my browser right so let's start browser which means I have to just run dot slash so I have started browser and uh, what are we trying to do now is we are basically using the content provider which seems to be vulnerable right so this content provider we are going to use this content provider uh, to access the file which I just now pushed right ideally it shouldn't allow me to do that the reason being I am I'm inside a browser app I'm actually not you know uh, using the user ID or I'm not inside the Adobe app I'm actually inside browser app which is a third party app and from a third party app we shouldn't be able to actually use the content provider of Adobe to open some you know external storage data ideally that shouldn't be allowed but let's see if we are allowed to do this so let's run app dot provider right and read let's do read what is the name of the content provider it was so much right so it was this could be this just was the content provider now we know that our file uh, is basically uh, uh, our file is basically inside SD card so let's do some path traversal right so let's put some uh, path traversal and then let's put the management SD card so maybe if that works let's see if that works provider 
give me a minute yeah so path traversal right we are doing path traversal because uh, um, we are basically trying to come out as much as possible and then go inside MNT uh, management the SD card and the place where we have kept this file right now ideally this shouldn't work the reason being let me explain again because I am inside the browser app which has a different user ID right and uh, we are trying to um, use the content provider of the Adobe app right to read a external data source right and uh, ideally this shouldn't be allowed I mean the content provider of a particular app should uh, be used only by the app and not by someone some third party app which is the browser here but let's see if this works when you hit the enter yes there you go it worked we were able to open the uh, third party we were able to open the external source which external data text file and we were able to read right the contents inside it but how did we do it by using the content provider of Adobe so Adobe app was you know vulnerable which means any third party app was able to use this content provider and read right the external app let me explain to you even better way so now if I go down to my both the apps right let me go to my Android app and let me try to find more information sorry let me go to my Adobe app and try to find more information about the package so when I run this particular command it tells me that my Adobe app has access to the read external storage right which means when you're installing this app the app will ask the user if you want to grant this permissions and after granting this permissions the app will be able to read all the PDFs and text files which are there on your phone which is good but now let's see the permissions of the browser app right the browser client app which is here let's read the permissions of that so when you run the permissions of that what you see here is uh, the browser app actually doesn't have permissions to read the external storage like you know like your Adobe it, it has just internet permissions right but though it has only internet permissions we were able to read the text file which was on your phone by using the content provider by using the vulnerable content provider of the Adobe app right and that is basically what we actually did just now we found a bug or it was a uh, I mean this is a very old version of Adobe so it was obviously reported but um, this is how you can actually you know exploit right vulnerable content providers right so uh, to conclude right we use the browser app to read a text file right and though the browser app did not have permissions to read the text file we were able to exploit the content providers right of the Adobe app which in turn had the permissions to read text files right so we exploited the uh, permissions of the Adobe app to open the text files right um, so that is how browser actually you know um, comes into play that's uh, a browser that's how um, that's how you can use it's an automated framework what I showed you was just like a couple of tools here but there are a lot of other tools which you can uh, use for scanning and doing a lot of you know uh, pen testing of your Android apps so yeah thank you for watching